and welcome. This is day three of my hashtag 10 in 10 become unstoppable. 10 insights in 10 days and today is number three and I'm going to be talking about the power of really identifying your ideal client. Why identifying your ideal client at a deeper level than you have ever done it before could be the number one thing that you need to grow your coaching business. In an effort to reliably find clients, coaches in the transformational space frequently underestimate the power and importance of really dialing in their ideal client. Many believe and they'll say, oh, I've done that. Um, and some have, you know, the psychographic and the demographics to prove it and can rattle them off. That what's missing is they don't feel any deep personal connection with that client. And even more tellingly, their business just isn't working with that regular flow of clients. So the impact of taking this concept to a way deeper level in your business can be truly transformative. My goal today is to unpack why that's true. I want you to deeply understand this because until you do, you can't embrace it. And serve more of the people who really need you. Before I do, let me introduce myself. I'm Sue Begent. I'm a sales, marketing and mindset coach. I specialize in helping ambitious women coaches confidently launch a premium program, create a multi six figure income, develop sales confidence and mindset freedom. So let's switch to what you do want to have happen in your business. You want to put materials out there in emails to your list, in posts on social media, in talks that you give on your website, in webinars, basically wherever you, th you show up that make your ideal client want to engage with it, read the next line, listen even more. You want to get to create the sort of type of engagement that gets them progressively more jazzed about what you're offering because it connects with a deep longing inside them for the solution that you offer. Because that's exactly what they need and they know it at a deep level. And your words, whether they're spoken, whether they're written, however you're conveying them, are what wake that up inside the right client. But you have to get the words right. You want the type of words that have them scheduling on your calendar, already 50% sold on what you offer, exactly um, sort of ready. They just, they're just super open to learn more and excited. And by the way, if you're listening to that and you think that's pie in the sky, then that means that you really need this training. And what I'm gonna be doing next, uh, next Wednesday, which is how to identify your ideal client, how to really create that connection. Because this is what becomes possible when you really dial this in and you get it right. When you know exactly who you're talking to, when you can speak to their pain with depth and clarity from a place of empathy and deep personal experience, experience that correlates with theirs, when you are authentic, when you are unafraid to be seen, to say what they're perhaps even where they are, afraid to see or say out loud. When you can show them you have the path that they need, that instead of zigzagging all around the houses and lonely, painful and extended search for a solution, you went through, that's the experience that you had, instead of that, you can guide them through a simple stepwise process where you support them right the way through that that will get them to the outcome they deeply desire. And that makes you like a beacon of light in the dark tunnel that they're in, at that dark crossroads they've sort of reached where they, they don't want to go forward like this anymore, but they don't know how to change it. When you can articulate that, the trust that that builds with your ideal client is instantaneous and is visceral. They immediately want more. They want to understand what you offer. They want to discuss this in more depth. They want to be, they're immediately open to understanding the solution that you provide and how you can support them. 
So that's exciting for both of you. When you don't build that trust, when you lump together several groups of clients who have overlapping needs because you can serve them all, right? You are forced into generalizations. And once you do that, the clarity of your message and your signal get watered right down. It lacks impact and it disappears into the tsunami of material that we're all faced with every day, online, wherever we turn. And the result? Fuzzy website copy, emails that don't get engagement, posts that sit there with a few likes and no trending or comments, and a calendar without appointments, and that means no lead conversions. And it also means that when people try to refer you, they are fuzzy about they know generally what you do, but they don't know precisely what you do. They know generally the type of person that you you serve, but not precisely. And so the referrals you get are sort of the right client or sometimes completely the wrong client. And you end up taking that client because you need to pay the bills. And that's just an exercise of futility and frustration. Don't beat yourself up if this is something that you're struggling with. I struggle with this personally for, I would say, a good two years in my business. I did dial in, I dialed in and I dialed in, but I wasn't really dialed in. And so I know about all of these results because I've lived all of them. And I don't want you to beat yourself up if you're suddenly realizing that you need to dial this in more as well. It doesn't matter how long you've been in business, because here's the thing, when you need clients, Every instinct you have, visceral instinct, will fight against the idea that you would make the pool of people smaller. It's really, really difficult to do that without support, without the absolute certainty of somebody who's been down that path before and absolutely knows of that shadow of a doubt that this is the right way to go. But the reason you wanna narrow in is because then the language, when you speak the story, when you talk about the experiences, you are getting really, really specific to what's exactly going on with that exact person. And let me give you an example, a weight loss coach. I can help you, you know, lose that 20 pounds that you've been, okay, great, weight loss coach. I am a, a weight loss coach who specializes in new moms who want to lose post baby weight. When they talk about sleepless nights, managing multiple kids, managing the hormones, managing their relationship and, my husband, you know, is my husband still going to want me? Do I even feel like having sex? All of that becomes super, super specific. That creates engagement. That's what you need. So you really have to dial this in. And in my program, Become Unstoppable, which is a 12 week program that teaches you how to turn your talent, experience and personal experience into a premium program that serves your clients at a whole new level and how to get paid well to do that and unpack the skills that you need to be successful in the sales and marketing, to launch and drive it, get rid of all the mindset blocks. In there, I have a whole in-depth part of this program that is dedicated to ideal client and getting this piece right, because it's that important. My clients get off the chart support to get this piece of their business right so they can create the success they dream of and they achieve. I mean, as they assign clients that are amazing at this whole new high level, they're assigning them, you know, multiple thousands of dollars and their clients are delighted to sign up. That creates more success. So if you'd like to know more about what I do, check out my website at www.cocreationzone.com. And if you like what you see and it resonates with you, then reach out for a conversation. Um, and if you're liking these insights and mini trainings, by the way, don't miss the one I did yesterday on how to price your course or the first one I did this week on how to get off the sales and marketing mouse wheel and create a deeply satisfying multi six figure income serving great clients who need you instead. Just put hashtag 10 in 10 become unstoppable in the search bar of either LinkedIn or Facebook and um, up they'll all come. I really look forward to seeing you next week. I will be back on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. in here, and I'm gonna be covering the most effective way to identify your ideal client. So if this live made you realize that you need to go back and do more work around this part of your business, or you're just intrigued to know more, join me then. I really look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.